kind of just cutting my last two petals here. Gotten a little bit bigger. Maybe a little too big. Then I'm then the tops here. Ah, okay, there, like so. Then the top edges. Press them, pinch them. And then what they're gonna do is I have two more spots here. I need to put a little water on this so it'll stick. Overlap it just a little bit. Okay. Give them a curl with my fingers. And then press it down against the board that's underneath there. This is where it needs the water. There we go. Okay. And press it against that board. And I can feel the board down there, so then I take a knife tool or something that'll cut, cut it against the board, cut the extra fondant away, and I can feel my finger so it's against the board down at the bottom down there. And then one last piece It's going to complete my rows. Oh, maybe I have two. I don't know. Let's see. Well, we'll make it in one. Gonna be a little bit lower. Not exactly sure where it's going. There we go. Gonna be a little here at the top. Petals come down, okay, press in with the fingers, and then cut against the board to cut the excess away. I think that got it all the way around. Okay, it's pretty good. If you missed any, I got a little tiny spot here I missed. That's, a, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if we miss a spot. Um, I am going to put this here just to cover it up, but um, we have a calyx that's going to go on the bottom of this. So any place we missed, we will cover, believe me. Okay. Now what I have is I am going to dust it with this little bit of pink in the creases. So just right in these creases here so I can get a little bit of color coming up. Need a better brush. I don't know if this is what I want. It's just a little bit of color down at the base of the petal. Maybe you want this one. And you want to go inside. And have the color come up the petal. See? Make sure you start with a nice light color. 